Hey, welcome to blog.websites.org. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can add our feed icon to your 2010 theme. So, at the moment, I have a feed icon there, and if I click on that link, it will redirect me to the feed uh, address of this blog. So, I'm using this uh, dummy blog. It still doesn't have our icon feed, but still has the default setting. So, now uh, the next step is you prepare your RSS icon. In this case, I have my RSS icon in chief file which has um, 30 times 30 uh, pixel. So in your desktop, and then you're going to upload it to your web server. So in the next step, you go to cPanel File Manager, and then hit go inside WB Test Content, inside Themes, and inside 2010 folder. images and upload browse to your RSS icon open one hundred percent complete go back there it is our RSS icon dot file sitting so now we go back to our dashboard and look for appearance and editor And look for header.php. I'm going to header header.php. Copy all of the code and open HTML editor. In this case, I'm using uh, Notepad plus plus language to PHP. Right now, we are going to modify something here. So the most important thing is the line 66, which says the div ID site description. Here we're going to modify. So we're going to separate this code to make uh, the code easy to read. And going to uh, now we're going to separate this div. So we're going to add div and then style to hide it, but not to delete this. We're going to display none. And then end of the div, div, closing the div, and then now we're going to comment that out so you know what kind of code is that. And of the code, it hides a site description for our SS icon. Right? Closing the div. Now we're going to add um, HTML code, href for a anchor tag and then quotes quotes closing the href and put there put the first and closing the href tag right now uh, we're going to delete this space now uh, between the h tag we're going to put image so img source and then closing and then put in uh, anchor tag like that first href so now we have to replace this static uh, html code into php code in wordpress so php in wordpress you uh, block in for and then opening parenthesis closing parenthesis and close the php between this parenthesis we're going to add the quote quote and the url of your feed which in wordpress called rss2 underscore url right and then now the img source we're going to point out the 2010 themes um, folder so uh, php and echo to display blog info and then opening parenthesis closing php file between the parentheses, we're going to add quotes, quotes. Between the quotes, we're going to add the code, which is a template directory. So template underscore directory, right? Um, already, and then now we're going to add where the images is. So quotes, quotes. Uh, the RSS icon, which is inside the folder images. And the name of the RSS icon is RSS icon .gif. Right? I think now we are finished. Going to copy all of this. 
and paste that in in head of the PHP update the file and let's see what happens refresh and you see our login for uh, descriptions is hided and our feed is there now we're going to view pet source and look for the feed you see now this is the feed address and they made source of this and as you can see our uh, site description is still there this is uh, so it's hided by the style so now we're going to add something to make uh, the border gone so go back to our code and style so we put an image style which is uh, border to none all right copy all of this paste that in So now border is gone. Uh, now we minimize this so you can see better. Even though this uh, go a little bit down, so we have to uh, stylize it more than other than no border. Go back to our code and uh, the style of the image. I'm going to add float to right, right, and position relative. And then we're going to put the top into um, dry 15 pixel. What happened? Copy. Paste that in. Update file. And then refresh. You see now um, it's float to the right, but. Uh, more down so we have to put minus instead of 15 pixels so we put minus 15 pixels so a and then add that file right now you can adjust the position as you can see the position is um somehow not right so we can adjust it maybe we uh, inspect with fiber there it is and we going to oh, come come on maybe 10 pixel what happened 10 uh, 8 i think 8 is great can see now uh, it's um, almost same so eight minus eight right and copy and test it back in that's actually how I edit some files I'm going to try until you find the best positions of your thing so I guess now it's better in the same line so we're going to um, look for page source again there it is actually the feed and as you notice this feed doesn't have a real uh, no follow rel and we should add no follow attribute to that because it's a feed so now we go back to our code and look for hware and put rel Quotes, quotes, which is no follow so tell search engines to uh, not following this feed because this feed containing the same content in your blog right well no follow then we're going to put title so and we put a php code so php uh, blocking for closing php and we just plug in for which is um, min right and then fit this is our title well no follow and what else I am uh, image style which is uh, we have to specify the width uh, the width was 30 pixel 
right? Oh, sorry, this is wrong. So, if 30 pixel and height 30 pixel, right? All oh, okay, copy that and paste that again and update file. Paste that in now. Nothing changed, but if you take a look at the page source, it should have no follow. You see now we have no follow well to our feed and the name, uh, the name which is, um, I don't see the name. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, the title which is RSS feed. This title will, uh, what will do is when you hover the RSS icon, will say then, uh, wait a minute, will say then. Uh, the site description uh, block name and then the feed so if you click on that it will bring you to your feed address that's how you easily put the rss icon with, uh, but with hiding your site description so thank you for watching and take care goodbye